it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, your organization develops and tests multiple applications on Compute Engine virtual machine instances across three environments, testing, staging, and production. These separate development teams for each application require minimal access to production, but broad access to testing and staging. You need to design the resource manager structure to support your organization following least privilege best practices. What should you do? So in this requirement, there are many teams involved. Each of those teams are working with multiple applications and they need to go through multiple stages. We need to make sure that they are isolated and also follow the principle of least privilege when it comes to identity and access management. So the requirement analysis shows us that there's a matrix of different entities, the projects, the applications and the environments. And each of them needs to be logically isolated. So even though it's not exactly clear in the question, it's possible that a development team has multiple applications and they need to go through each of those stages. Then the next team probably also has multiple apps that need to go through these stages. We need to be able to keep each part of that isolated, each team, each application and the stages. The team itself, the members of the team, they require minimal access to production, right? The rest, they can have broad access, which means that testing and staging can have kind of similar access, but production is highly restricted. These, we want to keep it very separate. Of course, we also have to follow the principle of least privilege, which says we do not give anybody any more permissions or access than what is required to get the job done. Okay, not more, not less, just enough. With those requirements now, let's look at each of the options. The first option says, create one project environment. Assign the application team members an identity access manager's role at the project level. So in this case, each project has a, um, or there is a project per environment for each of them. So essentially there are three projects, right? Since there is a project per environment, there's a test project, a staging project and a production project. Will that work for us? When there is one project per environment, essentially we are saying that multiple teams or multiple apps will have to share the same project at some stage. This obviously is not something that we want. There could be artifacts less left behind. There's also who's going to use which project at what time. Maybe team A and team B simultaneously want to test, right? And that's going to mess up each other's uh, projects or applications. Therefore, having one project per environment is not acceptable for us. Additionally, in the second part of the option, we have that you have to set the permissions for each user or each of the team members at the project level. So when we have a large number of team members, to have to do that one by one is going to be extremely cumbersome. So in terms of both isolation and in terms of the complexity of dealing with it, option A just does not suit us. Option B suggests that we create one project per environment similar to option uh, A. But it's saying group each application team member into a Google group then assign the application team's Google group an identity access management role at the project level. We already saw in option A that creating a project per environment is just disaster waiting to happen because these teams are going to step on each other's toes. So option that involves a project per environment is to be eliminated. Even then, let's look at the second part of the option which suggests that we create a Google group for different teams. Now, this is a good idea. Instead of individually assigning permissions and roles,
to a project, it is better to group them in a Google group and assign the permissions to the group itself. So that as and when, when you want team members to be added or removed, you just change the membership of the group rather than having to apply the roles and permissions on a per account or per user basis. So the second part is a good start. It still does not solve the requirement for us, but having started off with a bad option of creating one project environment, we are going to have to eliminate option B. Option C suggests that we create one project per environment per application. Then assign the application team members an IAM role at the project level. Will this work any better? To create one project per environment per application is good. Why? Because it now separates each of the teams, each of the application artifacts and these teams can conduct their work in parallel because one is not using the uh, a shared environment that is being used by somebody else. So by giving a project per environment per application, we've of course got more projects, but it uh, solves our requirement that we isolate each of these teams and their applications. So that's good. The second part of the option suggests that we assign the application team members an IAM role at the project level. Now, this is something we saw earlier that it is going to be more overheads for the administration team to manage each user on a per project level. As we saw already in this requirement now, we've got way more projects. It is not just the three in as an option A and B where we had a project per environment in which case there are only three projects. Now there's a project per environment, per application. So, and there could be a large number of applications. To manage membership and to manage access across all these environments and applications per user is going to be a lot of work for the IT team. And therefore, this is not a good way of doing it. It does solve a requirement, but it is not um, a good option in the way we conduct this work. So if there were no other options that were better than this, I might go for this, but I'm inclined to eliminate option C as of now. Option D suggests that we create a project per environment per application. So this is similar to option C. In the second part of the option though, it says group each application team member into one Google group. Then assign the application team's Google group an IAM role at the project level. This complete option now is a combination of the best parts of all the ones that we saw earlier. One, it is separating each of these environments and applications in a separate project. So each of them have their own isolated project and they are not going to interfere with each other's. That's a good thing to have. Of course, now there's a large number of projects. Unlike some of the earlier options which said set permissions per user at the project level, this suggests that we group them, right? So again, when we group them, we are assigning the permissions to the group and then we can add or remove members as we want. So this combines the best of the options we've seen so far and makes it easy for us to solve this requirement while following the uh, principle of least privilege and isolating each of the teams. Therefore, our best answer in this case would be option D to create a project per environment per application and to group the team members and assign permissions at the group level. Now it's time to subscribe to all the great content we've got lined up for you to learn Google Cloud and to help you with the certifications.